Hey, hey, hey! Happy Sunday, everybody! Ooh, babe, look at you! That's a welcome to the gun show. Look at that! Woo, woo! Hey, guys, I'm Kristen, handsome hubby Lance, and we are Designs by KL. We refinish, repaint furniture, and also do a little home decor. And upholstery. <laughs> and upholstery today. So, um, as you can guess, we are recovering some chairs today. And um, I actually have a little backstory to this. I was in Hobby Lobby. Any Hobby Lobby Imagine fans? That. <laughs> I was in Hobby Lobby Thursday night while my beautiful daughter was dancing and I was buying some fabric and the lady was like, what are you doing, honey, with this fabric? And I said, I'm recovering some chairs. And she was like, her eyes got all bright and was like, oh, you, you recover and reupholster. And I'm like, no, 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 mama can't sew, but what I can do is pow, pow. Pow, pow staple gun. That's right. Yes. So I cannot sew. Hubby can sew. So when the kiddos have holes in their clothes or the dogs have uh, doggy toys that they shoot holes in, Hubby is the one you take your stuff to um, to sew it up, but not me. Yep. So I thought, why not do a tutorial on? Are you okay up there? Yeah, sorry, I'm getting into it. <laughs> Do a tutorial so on, bring on those chairs in? recovering the chairs. Oh yeah, I guess you could. I totally forgot. I guess I could have brought the chairs in that we're actually recovering. So, as you can see, these are some old cushions of on a chair that uh, we bought and we refinished. And we showed you not too long ago, in fact, I think last Saturday, um, the chairs that were we were redoing. So here's the chairs and now we're going to give it its little um, its little seat. Your coffee smells really good. Like making me want a Starbucks. Yes. Okay so here's yeah there's the old. This is what it looked like before right? So. Yeah I mean it was a different color chair. I put, we redid the chairs but you get the drift. Oh I was already out of these anyway. Okay, so you need your staple gun, staples for your staple gun. I am going to use 3 8 if y'all can see that, that's the um, staple size that I'm going to use. Yeah, and just after, once you're removing some of the fabric, most of the time that's the same thing that other people have done to re This one was actually, I, I noticed another fabric underneath it, so where somebody else is already covered over it so I just I'm just taking like a small tiny screwdriver I got some other tools here uh, different size screwdrivers uh, some side cutters uh, needle nose pliers and so far I just need uh, the small screwdriver and I'm just kind of prying some of the staples up and then pulling them out and they're coming right out I know I um, went ahead and took the old green um fabric off of this one so I could show you and I didn't use all the tools like he used I just used scissors to pry them up and pop them off scissors yeah that's what I used <laughs> sometimes he hides the tools and I can't find them so I just improvise so um, then you're gonna need some fabric scissors and I definitely recommend fabric scissors anytime you're cutting fabric but only to cut fabric it's going to give you um, cleaner edges, which, I mean, they're not perfect, but they're cleaner. It's not going to tear, and it's going to be easier to cut the fabric. The fa Here's the fabric I picked up, um, and I actually got this on clearance. This was on the big giant rolls at Hobby Lobby, so it was not just the cheap fabric. This was upholstery fabric, and it was on clearance. Bazinga. Bazinga. Okay. Now, um, 
when I had the big uh, fabric in one giant piece, I basically just laid it out, put the seat on top of the fabric. I'm going to back so y'all can see. Um, put it on top of the fabric, and then I just kind of measured and cut. So I didn't even, like, get out the uh, measuring tape or anything. So I just winged it. How about that? <laughs> like I always do. Okay, so let me make sure I've got my fabric turned the right way because I definitely don't want my... Is it turned the right way? Yep. Okay. You should say K&L double trouble. Double trouble, baby. That's a capital D and T on that one, baby. Capital double trouble. Okay, so you're going to get your... Staple gun, usually I like to start in the front, um, and you're basically just pulling the fabric over. Let's get back so I know y'all can see me. You're basically just pulling the fabric over. I'm even going to tuck it in just a little bit, and I'm going to give it one good staple right there in the middle. Okay. Can I bring it in some? Yeah, you can bring it All right, guys, I hang loose. I'm going to bring it in some. Make sure they can see. You might have to point it down. Hey. There we go. That's good. They don't need to see my face. Okay. So, um, once I get one good staple there in the middle, I'm going to pull it tight here in the back and get me a good staple in the back. Okay. Just right in the middle? Yeah, just right in the middle for right now. We're going to come back and fix it. So I'm actually going to work from one of the corners. And I'm really just gathering the material. No particular way. You just want to make sure that you're not going to leave a bunch of lumps. One little thing in the middle is perfectly normal so I am just gathering and folding you're gonna have a, a little bit of a a bunch but that is perfectly normal yeah but you will never really notice it yeah you won't notice it and then you're just gathering and then I'm gonna staple this side in Then I'm going to get one right on the outside, while it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the back corner. I like to work um, from the ends into the middle, if I can. So I am going to pull that tight though as I'm going. Did you get it, babe? I got it. You're so awesome. Yeah, buddy. Now you wanna you wanna play? No, no. No. Okay. So I'm just bunching it. Now I'm gonna get it down here close to the middle. I know it's hard to see. Here I'm gonna show you. It looks really good. So see, I hope that you can see, but I've just bunched it, pulled in and bunched it. There's. Just a little bitty bump, but like I said, you're not going to be able to see that once it's on the chair. If you do see any lines, you can smooth them out. Like I just saw that one. And then, bam. So, super easy. Like I said, I am not a sewer, nor do I plan on becoming a sewer. So, or a seamstress. Sewer. Sewer. <laughs> Who's watching? Oh, Miss Mitchell's watching, and I just said so. We don't teach our kids to talk like that. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> our kids actually talk way better than we do. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, as you see, once I got it uh, stapled in, I just kind of tucked that fabric in so it's just not hanging out. So, no big deal and then I'm going to come and get the other side now 
I'm just gonna back up a little bit. You backing me up? No, you gotta back up. Oh, I gotta back up. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So, I'm just bunching it, bunching it, bunching it. And stay cool. And again, these are going on these chairs. You can't really see. Um, but we're going to put them on those chairs. And we redid a table to go with that chair. It's just a little um, breakfast, breakfast nook style table. Okay, so now I've got the last little bit. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. Okay. There we go. I'm going to make sure I get that front one right because I can adjust it in the back if I need to and bunch and staple and then I'm going to get back here after I get a good one in the middle that is nice and tight yeah. And I'm just stuffing, just kind of stuffing that in there. Pretty easy. So I'm going to go back and put some staples here and just make sure I don't have um, any little dimples or anything. But it actually well, it looks just, really good. It turned out really good. Might have one right there that I'll have to smooth out. But it's easy to do, though. Yeah. yeah. Super easy to do. It's going to look great on our chair. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love it, I love it. So I got my fabric at Hobby Lobby on clearance in the upholstery uh, the, 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 the <laughs> section. <laughs> oh my goodness. So for less than, I think I gave, I did give $14 for the fabric because I went ahead and got two yards. That way I'd have an extra yard to use. But I really only used uh, one yard for both of the chairs. So $7.98 or so was how much it cost just to recover the chairs. And that's a simple, simple, easy, like I said, no sew. All you got to have is your staple gun, your scissors, handsome hubby to help you out, and you're good to go. So... This is a quick and easy way to um, redo your dining room chairs or easy. any chair for that. Easy, easy. All of our chairs in our house have been pretty much done like that. Yep. With a staple gun. Yep. Because mama can't sew. Don't need to. Don't need to. So simple, easy. Um, let me know if y'all have any questions and I will answer them. I know it's Sunday, so not everybody is on tonight or this afternoon, but if you catch us on the replay, do hashtag replay so we know that you did see it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I guess I hope y'all have a great week. Do you have anything, Mr. Drawhorn? I'm good. You're good? Yep. Okay, so stay tuned with us. We got how many more days? What day are we on now? Um, we halfway yet. Oh, no. I don't even know I what, know what today today's date is. Date is. No. Um, so, anyways, stick with us. We'll be here every day at some time until October the 31st. And then after that, we will probably be here like two days a week. Yep. So, anyways, guys, love y'all. Thanks for hanging with us. See you later. Bye.